welcome to my channel I hope you are all doing well today I'm bringing you another female fragrance review and of course I'm doing another flanker of a male fragrance that was released prior of course to this fragrance and it was really successful and loved by many many people in the fragrance community so of course this video is going to be a review of Versace Eros Parfum and this is of course an eau de parfum so if you want to know my opinion on this fragrance please keep watching so when they released uh, a fragrance for women of course I was intoxicated by the beauty of the bottle of course here I have a mini I'm going to show you the mini up close here of course it doesn't really represent uh, the full bottle because the full bottle on the front it is gold metal all of it on the back it has a golden rim I'm going to insert a photo up here so that you know what I'm talking about I was also a fan of the uh, bottle of Versace Eros for men it was amazing actually so let's talk about the scent here I have a tester card as well in addition to this uh, tiny sample I love how uh, Versace do their samples they always include the notes with photos here on their cards they say that the olfactory family is floral woody musk we have sambac jasmine and jasmine absolute as well as some peony uh, in the dry down it is a woodsy musky fragrance it has sandalwood and broxen and musk here you notice that we have many white floral components in the fragrance when you first spray the fragrance I have sprayed it this morning it was so nice you definitely smell some citrusy element along with a very good jasmine notes if you love jasmines I think from the first sniff you are going to like this fragrance and it carries on like that for about an hour after an hour to be honest I get disappointed it is the same same thing that happened to me when I tested uh, Versace Eros for men on the skin and let it dry down I liked it on the tester card and from the initial spray but as it develops on the skin it really gets so dry this one the women's it loses these sparkly jasmine notes and it just becomes woodsy, ambery but sour at the same time so it is not sweet and mellow or let's say it's not as white floral as you get from the initial spray with the jasmine it just settles quickly into a somehow heavy generic woodsy fragrance it really reminds me of uh, Syrian weddings <laughs> when I go or when I used to go to weddings although I do not like weddings by the way uh, all women used to smell something like that and of course they would be wearing some cheap kinds of fragrances that they went to a fragrance shop that sells um, essential oils and they mixed a couple of white florals together and came up with a perfume oil or something like that probably the ingredients are not of a high quality Pixie's here one minute hello say hello I took your chat today bye so we we're talking about Syrian weddings and how all women smell of this generic jasmine white floral fragrance that I do not like. I didn't like Versace Eros. I didn't like Versace Eros Parfum, but probably someone who liked the original fragrance might want to gift this to their special one during Christmas season. Although I think the best time to wear this fragrance is in the spring probably early summer not a winter scent at all but the bottle is amazing so if you are considering getting this to someone please get the smallest bottle 30 mils so that you do not waste a lot of money and that they do not get bored wearing this fragrance because I see that this might be a bit generic if you know that your girl likes it it would be an amazing gift because as I mentioned a billion times the bottle looks amazing 
However, this is my review on Versace Eros Parfum. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me and that you'd like me to review more women fragrances, probably flankers of men's fragrances. And yeah, I'll speak to you very soon. Until then, as usual, please be safe. Bye.